Healthcare is a resilient business and yet a surprisingly cutthroat one. Ramsey Saimdabi Healthcare, however, is intent on keeping itself as one of the community. We talked to Group CEO for Asia, Greg Brown, about keeping healthcare costs down through technology and balancing the happiness of patients and its staff. Can you give us a sort of snapshot of your plans for the rest of the year? I mean, like, what are your expectations and plans for the hospitals? Firstly, the most important thing is to communicate what our plans are and really engage our staff and doctors to make sure that we provide a good service to our, our patients. And uh, I've been in healthcare for a long time and I've always felt very privileged to that our patients choose our facilities to treat them. So it's really important to make sure the staff uh, are aware of that and we, we sort of reinforce that, that we, uh, and it's like treating a member of your family. We really want them to, to feel proud of who they work for, uh, if they enjoy their work and they have a good relationship and provide good teamwork with the doctors and their colleagues, the patients will have a good experience. And again, that's, um, that's so important that our patients have a good experience. One of the things that I believe I'm able to bring to, to Ramsey Syme Derby is my experience in Australia and the things that have worked well for us in Australia. And particularly our focus has been on day surgery. So getting the patients in, having their procedure, getting them home, like there's no place like home. You know, uh, we, our business is hospitals, but ideally we want to provide a service where patients stay in our hospitals as short a period as possible. Um, so day surgery is one of the things that's really important and we're really focusing on our day of surgery admission centre. Um, so that's part of our strategic master plan. So patients can be admitted close to the, the operating theatre, have their, their surgery, and then if they're day only, they can go back to the day of surgery admission area and then go home. So in, in Malaysia, traditionally, or currently, we, we treat about 30% of our surgical admissions a day only, whereas in Australia and other parts of the world, it's more like 70 to 80%. So that's one of our opportunities is to, to really improve that process. One of the things actually that I realised was that Ramsey Saim Darby Healthcare now allows appointment through live chat. Yeah. I found this very interesting in the sense that when it comes to healthcare, personal touch means anything. Yeah. And live chat is one of those weird things where it is personal but it's yeah. also automated. Yeah. So why, how does this help customer engagement and how does it make it easier yeah. for your staff? Well I'd use the word convenience. It, it certainly makes it convenient for the patients and using technology. Uh, again, if we think about our experience in other countries, in places like Australia, you need to see the GP first and then you need to get a referral to see the specialist. In Malaysia, the patients can book directly with the specialist. So what other than quality improvement programs are you, is the group going to do? Because how will this Things like live chat, yeah. more more, yeah. more automation or, yeah. or at technology, technological advancement. How does that translate into like cost savings yeah. for, for a medical yeah. group like yours? Well, well I, I prefer to call it efficiency rather than cost savings because when you talk about cost savings, you think, you know, what's the biggest cost is our people and we reduce the number of people. I think it's more about being more efficient. Um, all countries in the world are struggling with the um, increase in healthcare costs. So it's about doing things more efficiently. And day surgery is one way of doing things more efficiently. Obviously, the patients have a, a shorter period of time that they're in hospital. But one of the, the, the really good things we're, we're doing is um, encouraging our staff to focus on what we call in the industry patient-centered care. So that is something that you'll hear a lot more about in the future. Um, and at one of our hospitals, Park City, we've just introduced patient whiteboards, which are actually in the room, and it gives the patients, uh, con continually updates the patients on the plans of when they're being discharged or if, if they're requiring diagnostic, all those sorts of things. Communicating with our patients is, is so important and we involve them in, in, the, in their own care and the family as well. Will all these advances at least make the prices more competitive than compared to your competitors? We need to make sure that, that as I said before, the cost of healthcare continues to increase. We've got to try and limit 
that cost increase. So the more efficient we can be, um, the potential that we can continue to limit the, the increases. I think that's the, the thing that everyone's concerned about is they understand that, you know, healthcare costs, but it tends to, um, around the world, health, they talk about healthcare inflation and they talk about general inflation and healthcare inflation is usually more than general inflation. So we've got to look at ways to, to address that issue and try and make the increases as limited as possible. So what is your current bed count? Yeah. So across our, our three hospitals, um, SJ is, is our largest hospital, so we have 395 beds. Uh, we've got just on 60 beds at Ara, and we've got nearly 80 beds at, um, at Park City. So, um, but they provide a comprehensive service. So sometimes you get a little bit, um, uh, not confused with the number of beds, but it's also about the other services that, that you provide. Are you going to increase the, the bed, number of beds across all three, or you're happy with how the capacity is working now? At um, SJ, we're a bit limited by space, so we can't really increase too much, but one of our, the things that we've, um, we've found feedback from our patients, a lot of our patients prefer single rooms. Um, and as I mentioned before, if we can increase the number of our patients that are day surgery, then we can provide more, more beds. So, and traditionally or currently the, the length of stay in our hospitals is reducing, so we don't need as many beds. So we're, I believe we've, we've got a, a sufficient number of beds at SJ. The other two hospitals could probably do with a little more beds um, and then we'll bring them online as, uh, as we need to. But again, it's, it's understanding what our patients needs are. And as I said, I know myself, I'd like to be in a single room. Um, so having that single room um, accommodation and, and the niceties in a, in a single room as well. We do have VIP rooms, so, so, so pa if patients want that, we're able to offer them that as well. So it's really about offering a full range of comprehensive services to accommodate our patients' needs.